Meiosis is the infestation of living animals, both human and non-human. This is usually by dipterous insects or flies. Generally these are blowflies and there's three main species that we see in cases of meiosis. These are Lucilia sericata, which is a green bottle, Lucilia coprina, which is found in Australasia, and Cochleomyia macellaria, which is the secondary screw worm, which is found in the United States. Flies are holometabolists, so they go through different life stages. These start with the female fly laying her eggs on the animal. These then hatch out into first instar larvae. They go through two molts into second and third instar larvae, and then they move off the body to pupate. Then within the pupal case, the adult fly forms from the maggot. There's three different types of meiosis. The first type of meiosis is obligative, where the blowfly has to go through its full development on the host or the animal. The second type of meiosis is facultative, where these insects usually develop on dead or decaying animals, but in this case, in the case of meiosis, they do live on living animals. And the third type of meiosis is accidental, where the insects don't need to feed on an animal in order to develop. So one of the ways in which meiosis can have a huge economic impact is when they infest livestock. So this is sometimes called fly strike. When it affects sheep, it can be called sheep strike. And this is basically when the female fly lays her eggs on fur. So this can be matted fur, it can be feces around the back end of the animal. And the maggots that hatch out start to feed on the flesh. They may feed on dead flesh in the case of wounds, but they also sometimes start feeding on the living flesh as well. This can obviously cause enormous economic impact to the farmers. In Australia, they breed sheep such as merino sheep for their wool. These sheep have heavy folds within their skin and this then results in heavier fly infestations. So in order to prevent this, what some farmers do will they'll carry out a thing called mulesing, which is where they'll cut away folds of the skin in order to create less folds for the fly to lay her eggs in. This obviously results in scarring, it can be very painful for the animals and it can also lead to infections as well. Meiosis can also affect domestic animals, especially rabbits for instance. These are often kept in hutches outside in the garden and obviously in hot weather you will get a lot of flies around. If the rabbits are neglected, if they are dirty, if they're covered in faeces or if the uh, cages aren't cleaned out often enough, this will attract more flies and very quickly a rabbit can become infested with live maggots feeding on the animal itself. This can obviously cause great pain for the animal and it can also lead to septicemia and death if not treated very quickly. Domestic animals may also be affected by meiosis if for instance they're neglected, if they've got matted or dirty fur, if they've got injuries or wounds. So for instance if an animal has injured itself on barbed wire, if it's been hit by a car for instance, and if it's not treated quickly by a vet, then meiosis may set in and the wound will very quickly become infected and obviously the animal's health will suffer. This can also affect wild animals as well. So for instance, animals that are trapped in snares, such as badgers. If the animals are wounded, they may still be alive. Um, it may take a while for them to die, but the wounds themselves will attract female flies and she will lay her eggs in those wounds Again, those will hatch out into maggots and those will start feeding on the body of the animal. Where an animal's been wounded and it clearly hasn't been treated, this can obviously lead to a case of um, neglect against the owner or the person that's caused the injury. If we can estimate the age of the insects that are feeding on the body, then we can estimate the minimum time since that injury occurred and this can then lead to a conviction for neglect. So meiosis can have a severe impact on animals, whether they be domestic, wild or livestock, both in terms of the health of the animals, the welfare of the animals, economic loss, and it can also lead to a criminal conviction for anybody who has neglected to look after their animals or who's caused the injury resulting in the animal having a case of meiosis.